here, you will see how to create a wooden style business card PSD mockup in Adobe Photoshop. Using the method you will be able to use and create smart objects PSD mockups, and present your designs in a unique styles. Ok let's start. This is the image we will work on to create our business card mockup. You can download this, including the source PSD mockup file, from the URL given in the description of this video. In the layer panel, name this layer as the background. Now, using the rectangle tool from the toolbar, click on the canvas, and a dialog box will appear, to let you insert the dimensions of the rectangle. Giving the standard US business card dimensions, put 3.5 inches in width, and 2 inches in height. Press OK, a rectangle of business card sized created on the canvas. Change the color of the rectangle to white. Now, right click on the rectangle layer, and click on Convert to Smart Object. Name the layer, Business Card Front. Double click on the Smart Object, and you will see a tab window opens. Here right, Card Front. Choose any font you like. Adjust the size, and align to center. Press Ctrl plus S, to save the tab window work and close the window. You will see your text appears on the card. Similarly, create another rectangle shape, with the same dimensions, using the same process, that will serve as our business card back. Right click on the layer, and click on convert to smart object. Name the layer to, business card back. Again, double click on the smart object layer, and it will open a tab window. Right here card back, make it align to center. Save, and close the tab window. Now, as we have done with the first phase, we will make these card in perspective shapes, to incorporate in our background, in such a way that, it will look as the part of the background. Select the card front layer, go to menu, edit, click on, transform, then, distort. You see, card front has appears anchors on its four corners. Zoom in, and click on one of the corner and drag it towards to top corner of background top card. Similarly, take each corner, and drag it, to make it align with background card. Zoom in each of the corner, and make it on exact position as of the background card. Once done, hit enter to, deselect the distort. Similarly, do this for business card back layer. Make a distort transform, and align each corner, 
with the background business card stacked top. Change the opacity to 80% for both the card's layers, and from blending options, change the blending mode to, overlay. You noticed, there is a small overlap area in both the cards, and back cards content visible on front card, which it should not have to. To fix this, select a polygonal lasso tool from the toolbar and start creating a path around the overlap area. When the path is complete, it made a selection. Make the selection inverse using menu, select, inverse, select business card back layer in the layers panel, and click on, add vector mask, button on the bottom of layers panel. It adds a mask and, the contents of the back card won't overlap now. Now double click on the front card smart object layer, hide the white background, and change the color of the text to, white. Now, save, close the window. Do the same for, back of the card. Double click on the card front layer, to open a, blending options, dialog box, check, and click on, bevel and emboss, to open its setting. Set style to, outer bevel, technique to, chisel soft, and direction to, down. Hit OK, you notice a nice wood embossed effect coming out. Now right click on the front card layer, and click on, copy layer style, and then, right click on, back card layer, and click on, paste layer style. You see, the same effect implies on the back contents, but we needed something less as, the card is in stacked position and, laid out. Change some settings to see which looks good. I have made the, technique to, Smooth, and, size 2, 1. Click OK. Now, our wooden style business card PSD mockup is completed and we are ready to add some real business card content, to make sure it works. I am placing Creative Alley's card content to it. You can add any other card designs. Double click, 
on the card front layer smart object. I copy the Creative Alley's logo, from Adobe Illustrator. And paste it in the tab window of Adobe Photoshop. Hide the text layer. Save, and close the tab window, and here is the amazing wooden style look of the logo. Now, double click on the back card layer's smart object. Copy person name, title, and other contact information, from your card, or you can write in the tab window itself. Make some nice alignment, and you are done. Save and close the window. You can see how real it looks. You can make the opacity of both the card's layers to 100% to make it a bit more bright. You can also change some alignments of contents of back card to make it look more nice. Yes, it looks great now. Thank you for watching this video, and enjoy creating similar mock-up now by your own or use this PSD mock-up to represent your business cards in a unique wooden style. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Visit www.creativealleys.com for more free graphic design resources.